It is wine time near the patio. Patio's out there. Um, but today I thought I would talk a little bit about how to store wine once you've opened the bottle. So once you've opened a bottle of wine, so you can see about half of this wine has been finished. Um, I want to, now I'm not gonna finish it today. So I wanna save it for later. How long will this wine last? It really depends on the wine, but a good sort of rule of thumb is to say once a wine uh, is open, somewhere between three days, five days on the outside is about as long as you want to try to make it last. Some can go longer for sure, but um, you want to be sure that you seal it properly and store it properly. Um, after a day or two, probably your best bet would be, especially after the third day, to put it in the refrigerator even if it's a wine you don't normally refrigerate. So bearing that in mind, when you get ready to serve it again, if it's been a few days and it's a red and you want it at room temperature, you're just gonna have to remember to get it out a little bit earlier to let it come up uh, closer to room temperature. Um, but it will stay better longer in the refrigerator. But you wanna make sure that you seal up your bottle. Now there's different ways to do this. And if, let's say I'm just gonna drink this tomorrow, that's fine. Um, I could just stick the cork back in it. Sometimes once you get the cork out, you can stick it back in and sometimes you can't. Um, yeah, there you go. So if you can, I've got that sealed. It's, it's pretty tight, so um, I can go with that route. Now, if I don't want to do that, there's a lot of other little handy items you can use. Um, so, so like there's a lot of decorative things. Like this is really pretty. You can stick that in there. Um, this one is really pretty. It's a crystal. Um, you can stick that in there, press that in. Um, looks nice. You can use, um, this is kind of a fun one. So this one pops in and it has a lid that closes and then you just open the lid and you can pour right through the stopper. So that one's not too bad. Um, and then there's this one is a pourer and a stopper. So you just put that in there and then you pull out the cork and you can pour right through the pourer. Okay, and then you can cork it back up. So this one uh, is one idea. So it really doesn't matter. There's a lot of different options. Um, this one is kind of fun because it has a little uh, screen. So if you were to happen to get sediment or something in your wine, it would go through that screen and not get out of the pourer. So you put this guy in. And I'm not gonna press it all the way in just for you know demonstration purposes. You put that in and then it opens and you can pour right through this top. And again, you've got the little screen to keep out any particles. So if you notice you had a wine that had some, you know, bits of um, sediment, you could use this as well. Um, and then what I tend to go with is just these simple little guys like this. I've got millions of different kinds, but these simple, they're just like little, uh, almost like bottle caps with corks on the bottom. This one's um, black. This one is actually kind of cork colored and those just pop right in there. And these are the ones I tend to go to most often. And then they're easy to remove and do. But um, if you're gonna keep your wine very long, and especially if it's a red wine, I find, um, a lot of people like to use these vacuum uh, stoppers. And what this does is you, you don't wanna have a lot of air in your open space of your bottle because air is what makes your wine go bad. So if you can you know, suck out that air with these vacuum um, pumps, then you can save your wine you know, a little better. So this one, the way it works, it comes with uh, this pump thing and a bunch of these little stoppers. Usually it comes in a set. And it even has a little arrow It shows you which way to put it in. But you put it in here like this, and then you put it in your bottle, and then you pump. And what this does is this pulls the excess air out of the bottle, and then it helps to keep your wine better longer. So that's, and you'll hear kind of when you open it up because you, you don't have any air in there. Now, the another um, thing is this one. So this one is also, it has a stopper inside. It's kind of, I don't know if you can see that, plastic. And it's, it's a pump built into the stopper. So you put this one on there and you pump. And you can hear it, it gets tighter as you go. And then it seals and you can store this. So these two, um, these are just two of the types of uh, vacuum sealing stoppers that you can use and they work really nicely too. So it really just depends on how long you're going to store your wine, what kind of wine it is. Like I said, if I have red, I tend to use the vacuum more often than I do with white. Um, especially if I'm not going to put it in the fridge right away. I want to keep it on the counter because I'm going to drink it soon, um, but not right away. I'm going to drink it tomorrow. That's fine on the counter 
and just you know pump the air out um, but you don't have to do that that's just kind of a extra thing but you can really hear that pop when that comes off because it's suction down in there really good so this is just some uh, ways that you can cork your wine bottle um, and keep your wine good for later on so I hope you've enjoyed these tips it is wine time and please subscribe to my YouTube channel Pam's Passport cheers